In this video we are going to talk about the here's why Tesla stock is exploding. The stock market valued Tesla, Inc. TSLA at $117 billion in January 2020, according to the company's financial statements. By the end of the year, the sum had risen to $658.39 billion, a staggering increase. Following that, Tesla's shares traveled the distance from its first public offering to a $1 trillion market capitalization in less than a year, reaching that milestone on October 25, 2021. The astronomical surge in the value of Tesla's stock in such a short period of time has taken investors by surprise. Another significant question is whether the same drivers that catapulted Tesla to a trillion-dollar valuation during the pandemic will be able to keep the company moving forward in the future. The rise in the stock price and market capitalization of Tesla has resulted in the creation of a financial complex of investment products that incorporate or monitor the stock of the electric vehicle manufacturer. The average trading volume for Tesla options is higher than the average trading volume for Sandamp Wink with tongue sticking out 500 options. Tesla has received assistance from the financial complex in order to finance the next stage of its development as a significant automobile manufacturer. The Tesla Financial Complex is a financial conglomerate that controls Tesla Motors. While retail investors, as well as Tesla CEO Elon Musk's tweets, have played a significant role in the company's meteoric growth, at the heart of the electric vehicle maker's meteoric rise is what the Financial Times refers to as a Tesla Financial Complex, according to the publication. This complex contains a diverse range of investment instruments, including options, equity-linked funds, and climate tech-focused investment vehicles, all of which have a significant impact on the equity and derivatives markets. There is a symbiotic interaction between the stock and the other members of this complex. As Tesla's reputation in the markets rises, funds and derivatives that have exposure to the stock make outsized profits, causing new investors to pour money into the stock and further increasing its impact in the markets. Example, in July 2018, Tesla was a holding in 106 exchange-traded funds, according to Investopedia ETFs. By December 2021, it has become a holding in 244 exchange-traded funds ETFs. Tesla's inclusion in the Standard & Poor's 500 index in December 2020 has increased the exposure of funds monitoring the index to the company's shares, and they have received the benefits of the stock's price rise. With a weighted of 1.6%, the company was admitted to the Sandamp Wink with Tongue Sticking Out 500 Index. By the beginning of November 2021, it had a weighting of 2.5% in the index and had contributed about a fourth of the index's returns over the previous 12 months. This was also true for the Russell 1000 Index, where Tesla accounted for 4% of the total weighted in November. Tesla has contributed 27.98 percentage points to the Morningstar consumer, Cyclical Index's 95.24% increase over the previous two years, according to the index's most recent report. Amazon. Com, Inc. AMZN, the online retailing titan, finished in a distant second place with a contribution of 16.92 points. According to a recent research by investment firm Goldman Sachs, the nominal trading value of Tesla options has been averaging $241 billion per day on average over the last few weeks. The average trading volume for the Sandamp Wink with Tongue sticking out 500 companies other than Amazon was $112 billion on average in the same period. A key driver of the market, according to Goldman Sachs, has been credited to Tesla for the rise in options trading in the United States. Typically, options are a high-risk wager on the price movement of an underlying stock in the future. The leverage risk, which is inherent in most options, is represented in the volatility of a stock's price. When it comes to the stock of Tesla, the company's price is prone to big fluctuations, but the company's rise has been accompanied by a shift in public perception of risk in the markets. Since the company's initial public offering IPO, on the stock market in 2010, its jagged ascent has been pierced numerous times by short sellers, who say that electric vehicles are too expensive and have no future. The epidemic threw a wrench in that equation. As the climate change discussion heats up, the current administration's green subsidy drive, as well as Tesla's record delivery statistics, which still lag behind those of established car manufacturers by a significant margin, 
have all contributed to the company surpassing the $1 trillion milestone. Should investors expect further gains in the near future? When there is an excess of anything, the fundamentals take a back seat. This has been the case with Tesla as well. Despite the fact that it produces a fraction of the vehicles produced by its competitors, such as Ford Motor Firm, F, and General Motors Company, GM, the company had a market capitalization that was about five times that of its competitors in December 2021. The promise of a future dominated by electric vehicles accounts for a significant portion of the value placed on Tesla and the financial instruments linked with it. Tesla's current valuation appears to be absurd because such a world does not exist at this point in time. Albert Bridge Capital's chief investment officer, Drew Dixon, told the Financial Times that today's valuations are influenced by a huge, circular tail wagging the dog nature, which means they are dependent on expectations of the future rather than current realities. I am steadfast in my opinion that, in the end, it is the fundamentals that matter, he remarked. While it has artificially inflated Tesla's market capitalization, the financial juggernaut machine powering the firm's wild viral ride in the markets has also contributed to the strengthening of the company's fundamentals, according to the company. It was possible to finance Tesla's industrial infrastructure investments thanks to the influx of investors who poured money into the company's stock and associated financial instruments. Because bonds are subject to periodic payments, the company's reliance on them has decreased. Tesla issued $10 billion in new equity last year at prices that were about nine times higher than those in 2019 in order to take advantage of the increased demand for its shares. It was thanks to this inflow of finance that the corporation was able to open new factories in Austin and Berlin. Following the completion of these facilities, as well as the business's facilities in Fremont and Shanghai, the company should be able to ramp up its vehicle delivery operations. Hey people, if you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and press the notification bell before you go.